Nine months ago, we installed this Daikin heat pump and it's performed flawlessly. But in all that time, I believe it's been telling me lies. So nine months ago, I installed a little device in here that would gather a whole load of data and put the issue to bed once and for all. Today, we're gonna to dive into that data and I'm gonna to prove to you that this thing has been telling me lies. So about 10 months ago, when I installed my heat pump, I raised a concern that I thought that the Daikin app and consequently the MMI, the what Daikin called the man machine interface, um, otherwise known as the small screen in your house, were misreporting data on how much electricity your heat pump was using. And I really haven't come back to that subject because I wanted to gather enough information to show that my concerns were either misplaced or were accurate. So for those that don't know, um, literally the day after I had my heat pump installed, I installed a Shelly EM50 energy monitoring device into the consumer unit that is connected directly to the heat pump. Now, uh, I didn't do this at the time because I thought there was anything wrong with the Daikin app. I did it because I have Shelly devices uh, installed throughout my house for energy monitoring, and it was much easier to integrate into that ecosystem than to try and write some funky software that kind of used Home Assistant as a, an interim to get the data into the Shelly ecosystem. So um, I went ahead, uh, paid about £70 for the device, um, had an electrician come in and install it, and ever since literally 24 hours after the heat pump was installed, we've been able to collect not just hour by hour or day by day, but real time data on how much the heat pump is using. And what I've been doing over the last few months is collecting both, inf both pieces of information, storing it away to allow me to compare both sets and see exactly what has been going on. So let me give you the short version. Uh, what I've noticed is that during the winter, the Daikin reports ever so slightly higher uh, usage data. So when we're using a lot of electricity, the difference between the Shelly and the Daikin is quite small. But when the heat pump is in summer mode, in that it's not really heating the house anymore, it's just heating hot water, the Daikin is massively overestimating how much energy the device is using. And this consequently affects your, your, your COP figures. So if you're looking at your heat pump and saying, my heat pump isn't performing, they told me I would get a COP, um, that's a coefficient of performance of about four or four and a half, you might only be seeing a COP of three. So you'd be right within your rights to go back to whoever installed your heat pump and say this thing's not performing properly. When it could be performing just fine, the data's just not correct. So let me show you a chart. Um, on the screen, what you'll see now are two line graphs. Uh, the blue one there is information from the Daikin app, and the line underneath it is from the Shelly app. Now, before I go into what you're seeing in that graph, let me explain something. The Daikin app is, quite frankly, rubbish. Um, in this day and age, the, the quality of the application is just getting worse. In fact, Daikin made an update recently where they decided we don't need monthly data anymore. So they only allow us to access day, week, or yearly data. Um, now this is really annoying for anyone who tracks their usage month by month because month by month is how you pay for your energy bills. So why take month away? Why, why leave week and give you month? Um, I don't know is the honest answer to that. That's just Daikin's way of thinking. They also took away the ability to go back and look at historical data other than a rolled up yearly number. Um, in the weekly view, you can look at this current week or last week. If you look at the daily view, you can look at today or yesterday, and that's it. So when you're looking at these charts, um, what you're actually seeing is the roll up at the end of the month into the yearly view. So I'll come back to why that's important in a moment. 
But what you can see here is uh, if we look back at January, which was our heaviest energy use for the heat pump, um, the Shelley system reported about 600 kilowatts. The Daikin app reported about 650. Now you could say 50 kilowatts. It's not, not that much over the course of a month. But look what happens as the uh, the amount of energy we use um, starts to drop off as we get into May and in, uh, sorry into March and into April. You'll notice from the start of May those lines start to diverge, and the Daikin app is reporting that we're using more energy when actually we're using a lot less. What have we done? How have we looked at this data? Well. I put all the data into a spreadsheet and then I asked both ChatGPT and Copilot to look at that data. Now, the reason for doing it with two separate AI systems is that hopefully if one of them goes a little bit mad, as AI systems sometimes do, um, the other will pick that up. But both of the systems were absolutely 100% bang on and they said, the Daikin app is rounding up or rounding down its numbers into whole integers. And we can see that from the charts, which I'll show you another chart in a moment that proves this. Now, what's happening is, it, in theory, it should follow the standard rules of rounding numbers. So if your number is greater than uh, 1.5, then round up. If it's less than 1.5, then round down. But it doesn't even do that consistently, as you'll see in the chart in a moment. And by rounding up each day, we should average out reasonably well. But what we think it's doing is actually rounding up on an hourly basis. Now, that can introduce a whole sequence of errors as we go along. And as we get further into these, these charts, I'll show you how that's making a big difference. But let me show you another chart. So this is the uh, comparison for last week. So on the uh, left, you can see on the 15th, all the way through to the 21st, the Shelley device is the orange bar and the Daikin is the blue bar. Now, some of you might be asking, why do I believe Shelley and not Daikin? And the honest answer is, I don't. But what I do is I look at the numbers and say, I'm much more likely to believe a number that is 1.57 than I am to someone that says it's two and then tomorrow it's one and then it's two again the next day. So as you can see here, if you look at the blue bars, um, the Daikin reported two kilowatts for last Monday, then it reported three kilowatts for Tuesday, then two for Wednesday, two for Thursday, two for Friday, one for Saturday and two for Sunday. The Shelley reports much more accurately. Now, it's not a laboratory calibrated device, so I don't know that it is exactly right. But based on other devices I have in my house and other measurements that I take using Shelley devices, I'm much more inclined to believe their data than I am these nice, pretty, whole round numbers from Daikin. What did ChatGPT, the AI, say about my, my supposition that the Daikin app was reporting wrong? Well, they both confirmed that Daikin rounds daily data to whole kilowatts. We saw that in the graph just a moment ago. So it sometimes rounds up and it sometimes rounds down, but it doesn't do this consistently. And you can see this in the chart. If you take a look at the data for uh, the 18th, so in the middle of the chart there, the, the taller of the orange bars in the center of the chart. So that's the Shelley app. It was reporting about 2.3 and the Daikin reported two. So yeah, that seems pretty good. It's rounded down. Now look at the number next to it on the 19th. So the Shelley's reporting about 1.4, but the Daikin is rounded up to two. So it's not being consistent. It's not following the rules of rounding up or rounding down numbers. It's just doing things at random. On days with really low usage, maybe one to two kilowatts, as we've seen on quite a few days during the summer when we're just using it to heat hot water, the rounding error can introduce as much as 30 to 100% uplift in the number. Now, over the course of a whole month, those errors really start to compound each other. So August, as an example, a, a month when we were just using the heat pump to heat water, the Shelley device reported we used 46.5 kilowatt hours. The Daikin app reported we used it 88 kilowatt hours. So as you can see, if you're relying upon this information, then the Daikin app 
quite frankly, is lying to you because we didn't use anywhere near 88 kilowatt hours to run our heat pump. As I've said, the likely cause of this, and without actually being able to get access to the, the, the source code for the Daikin app, um, I can't be 100% sure, but the likely cause is that Daikin is rounding up on a per hour basis. And then as it goes through the day, as it gets new data, because it does seem to sample on like an hourly basis, um, it's rounding up or rounding down those numbers. And these small changes that it's making to every single sample that it takes are compounding um, towards the end of the day. And then as you roll days into weeks and weeks into months and months into years, these numbers are getting out of hand. So why does any of this matter? You could just say, well, I'll just go with the numbers that Daikin give me. Well, you know, if you're trying to model how much energy your heat pump is using, and what you're actually modeling it on is a number that is almost 100% more than the device is using, you're never gonna be able to accurately model how much energy your heat pump is using. So again, if you're trying to forecast your own energy bills, then you're gonna be up to 100% out on those numbers. Now, where this also makes a difference is in your coefficient of performance numbers. Now, I know I've said in many videos that I personally don't really look at coefficient of performance numbers. I look at my energy bills and the pounds and pence that I'm spending. But I know a lot of people measure the performance of their heat pump uh, by their coefficient of, of performance and their seasonal coefficient of performance. And if you've been promised that your heat pump will have a coefficient of performance of, say, four, and you're not getting that because you're taking the amount of heat your heat pump's generated and dividing it by the numbers that Daikin are giving you, and it's saying it's three, you'll be quite within your rights to go back to them and say, this is not good enough. You promised me a certain number and it's not delivering. When it might actually be delivering, you're just not getting the right numbers. So again, let me show you another chart. This is the coefficient of performance on a month by month basis based on the Shelley data or based on the Daikin data. Now, again, just like we saw with the, um, the electricity that it was, it was monitoring how much energy the device was using, when we get into the winter months, they're pretty much in lockstep with each other, and they're not hugely different. The Shelley was reporting somewhere for around 3.3 to 3.5, and the Daikin was reporting about 3.1 to 3.3. So again, when we've got large amounts of data the errors in the Daikin app are being worked out just through the laws of averages. But once we get into the months where we're not using as much energy because maybe we're just heating water, you can see those lines diverge and they start to diverge massively. So if I was to believe Daikin, in July, my heat pump would have a coefficient of performance of about 2.5. When in reality, we had a coefficient of performance of just under five. Now, again, if I've been promised it will do 3.5, I'd be quite within my rights to go back to Octopus and to Daikin and say, hey, this heat pump you sold me isn't working properly. And they'd probably send engineers out who'd spend a lot of time tinkering with it and say, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's working as we set it up. Um, where in reality, it's just a data error. And it's a data error that I think Daikin should address. And quite frankly, I think they need to throw their whole app out and start again. because it's just not fit for purpose. So let me show you what I mean by not fit for purpose. If I open up my app here, um, you can see I have a, a pretty simplistic screen. It's telling me what the temperature of my hot water tank is. It's telling me uh, what the current temperature in my house is, and then what I've got the heat pump set to. So at the moment, it's not heating the house because I've set it to a temperature of 18 degrees, and it's currently 21 degrees in the house but it's more the insights that we're interested in. So if I head across to insights, you can see I've got there um, September, we've used 48 kilowatt hours. Again, a nice round number. Don't trust that. Um, you can see a, a graph there showing the uh, usage for the year. Then we've got hot water and climate control. And obviously for this month, we haven't used any energy uh, under climate control and we've used 48 kilowatts for uh, hot water. But let's click into the chart here. Now you can see again, Nice round numbers. If I tap on heating for January, 653.0. I don't know why they have the point. Um, 474, exactly. 279, exactly. 128, exactly. And I'll just, as you can see, they're all exact round numbers. Um, but if you look at the top there, I have year, I have week. So I can look at this week, I can look at the previous week, 
but I can't go any further back. If I look at day, I can look at today, or I can look at yesterday. Can't go any further back. So from a data collection point of view, it's useless. And if I put my suspicious hat on, I think they know there's a problem. And by taking away your ability to get large amounts of data from this, they're stopping you from doing the investigation yourself. Because there's not even any way for me to export this data. So come on, Daikin, fix your app. Make sure that it measures accurately. If it's, gonna, if it's gonna do rounding up and rounding down, make it round up and round down properly. Follow the standard maths rules of rounding up and rounding down. So I'd highly recommend getting an independent energy monitor and installing it into the consumer unit so you can monitor exactly how much energy your heat pump is using. Don't rely upon the Daikin app, or if you're with Valen or, or any of the other manufacturers, don't believe that the numbers they're giving you are accurate unless you can verify that for yourself. And if you are looking at your coefficient of performance and saying, this isn't as good as everyone told me it was going to be, it could just be that your app's not giving you the full picture. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this interesting. If you do have a Daikin uh, heat pump, um, I'd love to know what you think. Um, let me know in the comments below. I have tried reaching out to Daikin. I have sent numerous emails. I even sent a registered letter to their UK headquarters. Um, I've had no response from Daikin whatsoever. So um, let me know what you think. Um, if you've got a, a heat pump from another vendor and you have something like the Shelly, I'd love to know, you know, is the Valent app or the uh, Octopus Cozy app, are they any different? Are you able to look at them and say, yeah, actually they are reporting correctly. Is this just a Daikin problem? Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this interesting. Again, I know it was another data sort of deep dive, but uh, I hope you found the information in interesting and I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. With that, it just remains for me to say thanks for clicking on the video. I really do appreciate it. And if I'm lucky, I will see you back here real soon for another video. Take care.